Hey everybody, I'm here today with another fashion video proudly presenting to you some things from one of my absolute favorite clothing brands, Killstar. Some people criticize Killstar for being like too mainstream or too popular. It's like, I definitely wouldn't call it mainstream, but I would agree with the popular and it, it deserves to be popular. Killstar's popularity is just a reflection of how good it is. Like I've said many times, huge chunk of my wardrobe, underwear drawer, shoe shelf, all stuff from Killstar. It's consistently good. I've never been disappointed with anything I've had from them. They keep bringing out so much stuff. Like they, they bring out so many new things all the time. It's hard to keep up with it. And it's not cheap either. So like they keep bringing out all these really beautiful things. It's like, ah. Oh! I want, need, ah. So today I've got a few things that I've been wanting to show you for a while. If you watched my recent vlogs when I went across to the USA for one week, you heard me talking about like the stuff I was wearing there. Like pretty much all the clothes that I packed for that trip were from Killstar. I didn't, that was kind of accidental, but I did bring all like the new things that I have. Like since I've made my last Killstar video, like I've got a bunch of new stuff I'd like to show you. Honestly, I think of all my clothing hauls, I think I'm most satisfied with this one. Like everything I've got to show you today is stuff that fits perfectly, had plenty of opportunity to wear them. Like what I like about it is that it's easy to be like real stylish, it, it's effortless. It's just extremely good, well designed stuff. So everything I have to show you today is stuff that I just love. I got a pair of shoes to show you that I just about fucking died when they came out and a couple of dresses, a couple of other things. So let's get on to it, shall we? I think I will start off by showing you this dress here with these little straps on the front. This is called the like Adora Velvet Crush dress. It's this cute kind of baby doll dress. I like the length. I think it sits really nicely. I think the straps are quite cool. It's got this little bit of lace trim around the hem. It's this nice really dark velvet and it looks good also if you put like a long velvet skirt underneath. I've worn that out and it looks quite good. That's what I like about cool style stuff. The fabric they use tends to be like super black. Like one thing I got even came with like a warning saying that you know be careful when you're washing it the first time because it's got like extra black dye in it. So yeah, it's like blacker than other black things. But yeah, I love this dress. I have to stop myself from wearing it all the time. The next thing I'd like to show you is this sweatshirt, pullover, jersey, sweater, whatever you like to call that particular garment. I wore this on the plane to go to the USA and back. This was quite good because it's easy, it's a little bit warm, it's comfortable and it looks cool. It's like it's a very cool jersey. Definitely going to be wearing the shit out of it. It's really long which I like and it has this unusual neckline. Of course it's up at the front with the thick cord and it's all destroyed and dangling around the bottom. Love this jersey, it's awesome. Definitely getting heaps of wear out of this, especially at the moment because the weather is quite cold here. Don't know what it's like where you are, but here the weather is starting to really suck. I haven't seen sunshine for quite a few days. Speaking of sunshine, the next thing I have to show you is a pair of sunglasses. I saw these when they came out. They brought out a couple of different styles of sunglasses. I think I'll, I like these ones the best. You never know what you're going to get when you, you know, you order sunglasses or something like for your face online, whether or not they're going to suit you. But I just thought these were really cute. I go through a lot of pairs of sunglasses, mainly because I buy these cheap ones and then they just fall apart after a few weeks and just, yeah, fuck, I'm, I'm sick of that shit. Now I've got these nice ones. What do you think? What do you think? Great big round sunglasses with these little moons on the side. I think these are really cool. I wasn't sure if I was going to suit round sunglasses, but what do you think? Do you think I suit these? I like them. I think they're cool. I love how big they are. And also they do actually protect from the sun. They feel pretty solid. They feel like they're a heck of a lot better quality than the stuff that I'm used to buying. These make me feel extra cool. I feel like they make me look a bit mysterious. Maybe it's because I'm wearing them inside at night. Well, what should I show you next? I usually try and save my favorite thing for last in these videos, but in this instance, the, the other two things I want to show you, I, I love them both so much. Since we're on accessories, maybe I'll show you the shoes. Gotta show you the shoes. These shoes are completely amazing. <gasps> when they brought them out, it was like those are actually my dream shoes. You've designed those with me in mind. I know you haven't, but I can pretend. Velvet platform heels that, and I love the shape. So these are called Hell O Velvet Booties. They are surprisingly comfortable, and even after a lot of walking, my feet don't hurt. They're laced up at the front, but they zip up at the back, and the zip pull is an inverted black pentacle. It's so impressive. You will get a lot of compliments wearing these. I wore these to the premiere of the American Satan film in Hollywood, and I just towered. I was super tall, but I got so many compliments. In fact, I wore these around New York. I got so many compliments on them. They've also got like a version that's not velvet that's like pleather. I love these shoes. I love having them on my shelf to look at. They're so beautiful. I think I now have four pairs of Killstar shoes. 
I don't have a problem. All right, now for this dress. I also wore this dress to the American Satan premiere. They have like another sort of version of it that has more like pleather stuff going on at the front, but I, I like this version a little bit more. It's called the Deimos Doom Maxi Dress. This lace is up the back with a cord and has these straps over the chest. It has a high waist, I've put a belt on top here. The soft fabric is swooshy and flowy and just moves beautifully. It's so elegant and flowy, I love the way it moves. Um, again, I really like the cut. I love the fact that it's got this high waist, which apparently seems to look alright on my body shape. I want to wear this all the time. It's so beautiful. Definitely one of my favourite dresses, and that is saying something because I have a lot of dresses. What I like most about this haul is that everything I got goes together. Like the shoes match all of these outfits, and the sunglasses match everything. And as you can see, with the socks I have on, and from the earring I have on, I have like heaps of other Killstar accessories and bags, and oh, even my underwear today is also from Killstar, and that is a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> that was not intentional. Like I said, their stuff is not cheap, but the price does reflect the quality. It is very good. These things will last you for a long time. They do have a big selection of men's things as well as women's things as well as plus size things. They've pretty much got everything covered. They've got jewellery, accessories, bags, clothes, you name it. They've now got like blankets and cushions and like candles and Ouija boards and yeah, they make pretty much everything, but absolutely one of my favourite brands. You know, nobody pays me to make these videos, and even if they did, I would still just give my honest opinion, because I'm always going to tell you what I think is good and what I think is bad. Um, in this instance, I'm super happy with all these things, just and love them. Anyway, I'm going to spend the rest of the evening reading about trifle recipes because tomorrow I'm going to my first ever Thanksgiving dinner. I'm so excited. Where I come from, we don't do Thanksgiving, so I'm like super excited to and do that so I'm gonna make some kind of nice pudding and I'm thinking a trifle. I was inspired by Rachel from Friends <laughs> in an episode where she makes a trifle for Thanksgiving but you know I'm not gonna put mince with peas and onions in my I don't think my friends would appreciate that very much. Alright I'm trying to like plan a few trips. I've got quite a few vlogs coming up hopefully. This weekend oh my god this weekend I'm going to Berlin to see Marilyn Manson. Oh yeah actually Killstar also has like a whole Marilyn Manson collection of stuff like a huge amount of Manson branded things. Some of those things are pretty cool. A lot of them I find a bit too colorful for me personally. Mostly the accessories I think are cool. And now I kind of wish I had some of those because yeah, I'm going to see him this weekend. Ah, oh, for the first time in my life. Ah, and after that, I am possibly going to Austria. I don't know yet. So hopefully some nice little adventures coming up in the next few weeks. Thank you very much for watching. If you are amongst the people who celebrates Thanksgiving, then I hope you have a wonderful time. And even if not, I think it is always nice to reflect on the things that we are thankful for. And right now I am thankful for you being here watching my videos. That means a lot to me, it really does. I will, of course, as always, link below to Killstar's website to all the things that I've shown you today if you want to go have a look for yourself. Like I said, they have a huge variety of stuff. And if you weren't familiar with Killstar before, then you are welcome. Anyway, as always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I will see you next time. Bye!